get to the Okavango Delta, we have to take long winding roads. Long winding roads through national parks. Along the way, we have to cross lakes of water. Sometimes coming near to being stuck in mud. We are now finally at the edge of the delta, but to enter, we need the help of polers. Polers are the captains and sailors of dugout canoes known locally as Mokoros. Mokoros are traditionally made from tree trunks, but nowadays are commonly fiberglass made. For this ride up the delta, we need three polers and three Mokoros. One for our supplies, one for us, and one for our guides. With our supplies on their way, it was our time to board our Makoro. Polars are males as well as females. See, we have female polars, not just male polars. So out here, it's equal opportunity. Today, we are having two males and one female. <laughs> One little push and off we go. way up and through the delta is not as easy as one little push. Polars often have to work the Mokoras through waterways blocked by mudbergs, kind of like icebergs. Our Mokora just struck mudberg. To get us through, our polar is strenuously navigating our Mokoro through and between the bergs. Sometimes he has to like Use the paw to push it. Like this one right here. Get, get it. Push these around. Pour a little hole through there. Shift and give us some more. Before clear path emerges. Once in the clear, our ride becomes a smooth and enjoyable sail. And if you listen keenly, you can now hear the Okavango speaking with you.
Located in the northwest of Botswana, the Okavango Delta is a vast area of 2.3 million hectares of permanent marshlands, extensive waterways, swamps, flooded grasslands, and floodplains. Its near pristine state of largely untransformed wetland is the envy of Africa and therefore Botswana's foremost tourism destination. The Botswana Tourism Organization describes the Okavango Delta as one of the most exclusive wilderness destinations in the world. A wildlife spectacle presenting unparalleled wilderness experiences in a serene inland delta unlike anywhere in the world. Scattered among the delta's meandering waterways and picturesque environment are some of the world's finest luxury tent hotels and lodges. The major attractions in the delta are game watching, bird watching, and boating in the many waterways. But one of the least spoken of beauties of the delta is its crystal clear water. The water is so clear. I mean, if you look, you'll see to the bottom of it, there's a chance you might even see fish. If you look closely enough. I haven't seen any, but I'm sure. Look at it. So pristine. Wow. Water lilies and stuff like that. The waterways are lined with the most adorable water lilies, of which the bushmen say are one of two types. One blooms at night time, the other at daytime. water? Okay, so it's potable water. It's fresh. Oh wow. Yeah. It's so amazing man. Let's look at this. Who wants to die for this?
still, this beauty is not without danger. Often, lying under the pristine beauty are the likes of the hippopotamus. In the distance, we hear and see a few. But hippos are not the only danger posed to the Marvel Days tourist. A recent study revealed that there are 112 species of mammals and 6 to 4 species of reptiles living in the delta. These mammals include elephants, lions, rhinos, giraffes, warthogs, and many more. To complement the beasts, there are 71 species of fish and 444 species of birds. All along the meandering waterways are the beauty and the awe of the Okavango. It's to die for. It's a must-see. It's a must-go. It's the Okavango. Hey, Mr. Nitos! Hey, what is your boy? Yeah, Baba! Yeah. 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 